Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the diagonal length of a rectangle. So let's say we have a rectangle here with one side that is 3 centimeters and this side over here, let's just say, is 4 centimeters. And we want to find this diagonal length down from this corner to this corner, so the two corners furthest away. Alternatively, we could have done this corner to this corner. They will be the same whether you do this way or this way because this is a rectangle, meaning all the sides are the same as well as these diagonals being the same. So this side over here will also be 3 centimeters, just like this side up here is also 4 centimeters. So in order to find this diagonal length, we use something called Pythagoras theory. And that's because this here is a right angle and when we're given this side and this side, two sides, the two smaller sides of a triangle, we can find the longer side. And even if we're given this, this side over here and this side over here, you might not think we have this side, but remember, it's a rectangle, so since this is 3 centimeters, this is also 3 centimeters. So if we redraw this triangle without the rectangle just to make it a bit easier, remember this is a right angle triangle, which is important because Pythagoras theory only works when using a right angle triangle, which is good because rectangles have all right angles. So it doesn't matter if we use this corner down here or we'll use the triangle up here, it will all be the same. So remember down here we have 4 centimeters and over here we have 3 centimeters and we want to find this side over here. Now I'm going to label these sides. This side I'm going to label C, I'm going to label this side over here A, and this side down here B. And that's because using Pythagoras theory, we use the formula A squared plus b squared equals c squared. In other words, your two smaller sides squared added together will equal your longer side squared. So if we substitute these values into this equation, we have a, which is 3, squared plus b, which is 4, squared, which is equal to c squared. And remember, we're trying to find c because our longer side, the diagonal we're trying to find is C. So 3 squared is 9, plus 4 squared, which is 16, is equal to C squared. I'll just draw an arrow up here because we're running out of space. 9 plus 16 is 25, so 25 equals C squared. Now be careful because we want C, not C squared. So to get C by itself, we take the square root. And what you do to one side, you always have to do to the other. Therefore, square root of 25 will be 5, which is equal to C. So C equals 5, meaning that the diagonal of this rectangle is equal to 5. So, to summarize, we find the diagonal length of a rectangle using Pythagoras theory. Should probably pop centimeters on the end, and that's our answer. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.